Now, I talked about we're going to hold on to him like he's on the stakeout. I'm going to throw him his retrieve, and you can see him pumped, ready to go. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone, and today we have a very special video. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's always over here. Turn on notifications and throw a comment down there saying this is your first time, all right? We love first timers and uh, we wanna hear from you. Now, we're gonna be doing a video with Clutch, okay? We have been working through his retrieving work, his obedience work, developing this young puppy and he's really starting to um, come into his own. He's got his big boy teeth. All of the big things are happening for him to be able to move into more fun stuff, typically. Now, what we were running into though is pretty much every time that I work with him, I wasn't seeing exactly the level of excitement that I was hoping to. We did all of the drills that we could think of to continue to build, but I didn't really see a growth in his excitement for retrieving. Now, what I did was I went back and watched his training videos. And this is the power of actually taking time to video your sessions and going back and reviewing them. And if you truly don't know what's going on when you go back and review them, that's where we can help you out. We have an online dog training community through Patreon. You can send those videos to me. I will watch them on the daily and respond to you, telling you what I see that I like, what I see that I don't like, and where you need to go from there, if that is available. Now, I went back and watched Clutch's videos, and if you've been following along, you know that he started with few retrieves inside, playing with toys, not a whole lot, and then we moved outside for his true formal retrieving introduction. We used a small bumper, we had a check cord clipped to him, and I used the corner of our backyard, so we had a way to direct him to us. He looked pretty good. We did a couple different versions of that, um, a couple different sessions with that, excuse me, that uh, the first one actually, it was too hot. And he got hot really fast and was only able to do like one, maybe two retrieves and the little, and I sat there and talked and wasted a bunch of time and got him heated up and it wasn't ideal. But the next session we came out, it looked really, really good. He was pumped, he was excited, he was doing a nice job. Then we moved into the second um, you know, progression with our retrieving session. We did a few sessions off camera in that environment and then I wanted to up the ante for him. We had put a lot of emphasis on place training he had a pretty good understanding of that. And I thought, what better way than to help him with what he was struggling with, which was he was excited to run and get it and run around with it, but he wasn't coming back to me. So I thought, we'll give him a place to come back to. We've already worked that through with collar conditioning. And we did that first session, he kind of struggled with it. We did the sex second session and he did better, but he still didn't do great. And that was a, you know, a kind of a big, eye opener for me, hey, Ethan, you made a mistake here. We all do it, but we have to be able to recognize it and change or make adjustments to help that specific dog. So I made an adjustment. We headed up to South Dakota. I took the little boy with me and he got to spend some time building on his socialization aspect of things and just growing as an up and coming hunting dog um, by spending some time on a chain gang. He got to go out potty, play around a little bit, spend some time on the chain, but there really wasn't any structured training or anything else for him to do. I was guiding, so his actual work time was pretty was pretty small for a few days there to a week-ish, and what I started to see was what I kind of hoped that I would see. I started to see a new clutch come out. He was bouncing on the chain, he was excited, he was ready to work. It's that kind of mentality where like, almost a little bit stir crazy, and we can utilize that to our advantage. When we take that just a little bit stir crazy clutch and we say, all right, let's go do something, he says, yeah, woo, I'm ready to do it. But I got him out for his retrieving session and he was like, nah, okay, I'll go do it. And then I was going, knocking my head going, what do I need to do differently for this guy? I mean, I'm seeing the drive and desire starting to grow here that I wanna be able to apply to retrieving, but I'm not seeing, I mean, he retrieved well, don't get me wrong. If you watch the videos, you're like, yeah, he's doing a good job. But I expected to see more based on how he's bred and what he's doing and what I was seeing outside of the retrieving sessions. He was saying, I can do more, but then I wasn't seeing it here. So I took a step outside of the box, right? We have this 
general set of rules that we apply to a majority of dogs, and it works for a majority of dogs, but it's not necessarily helping him to excel. So what we did differently is I went, let's see if we can apply what I'm seeing here with the stakeout to the retrieving session. Now this is the exact opposite. I'm saying exact opposite of what I would recommend to develop a young dog's retrieving desire. Holding them back typically takes away from the excitement and the fun of the game. Well, for Clutch, it actually seems to be doing the opposite. So let's go ahead and get this little boy out and I'm gonna show you how we've applied a new type of ideology and hopefully it's gonna pay off for him in this retrieving session. All right, big guy. Now today, we are using the MR 1100s, DT Systems Collar, Master Retriever 1100, and it is a really, really, really good unit for a young dog like this, waterproof, all the things. We love it a lot, we've been using it a lot in his series. Now, I talked about, we're gonna hold on to him like he's on the stakeout. And I'm gonna throw him his retrieve, and you can see him pumped, ready to go, and we're gonna send him. Now that's the level of drive and desire. I mean, he almost flipped over there. Atta boy, atta boy, yeah. You can see spunk, you can see excitement. Now if we try and get him teasing him on the ground here, this is where we weren't seeing as much. But if I pull him back over here, give him another retrieve. He's bouncing here, he's ready to go. Good, send him again. Now, I just made a couple mistakes there, but it's something not a big mistake, it's just something we need to move forward to. Hey, 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 at a boy right here. It's something we need to move forward with as he progresses as a retriever here. Good, let's give him another one. We're gonna send him with his name, Clutch. That was the mistake I'd made. I wasn't sending him with his name. We need him to get used to that. At a boy, hey, 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 nice job. Woo, good job. I'm using vibrate on his collar to bring him back in. Just basic conditioning. And that's where we're gonna end this session for him. Guys, we're still gonna keep things shorter, keep him pumped up, but we wanna incorporate what we found by reviewing the videos that we'd already shot of him, kind of thinking outside the box and applying a new thought process to what's specifically gonna work for this dog. And that's the level of drive and desire I'm really hoping to start seeing. He's pumped, he's running straight out there, he's bringing him right back to me. Those things are drastically improved. Now. If you got to see before, we had Bob out here. All right, guys? He came out, he looked at this, and I showed him kind of what I was doing, and he said, man, that dog looks like he's ready for more. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be moving him into the big boy stuff. We're next up for Clutch is gonna be walking singles. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Clutch, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.